Well, it took him just over a year on the UFC roster to realize a piece of this UFC middleweight championship. He is the last style bender, Israel Adesanya, a guy you tried to bring in to emulate John Jones back in the day. Absolutely. You knew right away when you watch Israel fight that he has an ability to fight in so many different ways. If he's coming to play a part, he's going to play that part better than anyone else you can find. Yeah. It's because of the adaptability. It's his ability to change the way he's fighting based on his opponent. In the Derek Brunson fight, he did a lot of kneeing because he knew Brunson was going to wrestle him. But in the fight against Kelvin Gastelum was a lot of punches and kicks because the wrestling threat was not so great. You gotta have that if you hope to compete and stay atop your division for a long time. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioners in this division, DC, and I know how many chokes you have in your arsenal. Offensive jiu-jitsu, defensive jiu-jitsu doesn't get much better than this guy. It doesn't get as high level in terms of the jiu-jitsu knowledge. He knows in every exchange that he's the guy that's processing things at a different level, from the armbar submissions that he has shown in the octagon to the beautiful guillotine chokes that he does over and over again. And don't think that he won't roll for a knee bar and get a submission. Right. It's just constant danger when you're in the jiu-jitsu with this guy. And even the high-level wrestlers that he's fought have paused to try to take him down because of that patented guillotine. It's so unbelievable. truly a case of pick your poison with this Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Adesanya is four years the elder. He is the six inch taller party. He will have a seven inch reach advantage. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 24 wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Introducing the challenger, Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya. And now introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 20 wins, three losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Liverpool, England, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed USC welterweight champion of the world. This is for the UFC Championship. I want you to bear much your hands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. Good to you and your team, and we'll see who can make some more UFC history here tonight. Houston is just a great fight city. People think of Vegas, Brazil, Canada. Sometimes Houston gets overlooked, but some of the biggest fights have happened in the Toyota Center. This is a great fight venture for all UFC fights. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. 
Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Battle for position here. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shit into his opponent's thigh. Beat his leg up. Just a slip there. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his shit into his opponent. Good takedown defense by Israel. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Nice leg kick land. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Kick to the body by Adesanya. Punch coming, it's blocked. Just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. Collar tie. Right hand punch him. And he comes through with a big knee. Oh, a nice job to get the single leg takedown there. So he caught the leg and then was able to bring this fight to the ground. Now let's see what he can do with it. 20 seconds left. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Reach the end of round one. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills. Unbelievable strike. All right, let's get to round two. Oh, that's a nice strike. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Nice kick.
done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. And ladies and gentlemen, there he is, a man that needs no introduction, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world and your winner tonight by way of spectacular submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rigliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 35 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by submission, you a Gogo Plata. And still! So he came in the best welterweight in the world. Nothing changes tonight. Congratulations to the still UFC welterweight champ. He understands that he is the best fighter in the world at 170 pounds, and he proved that tonight.